How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Another weekly update news video talking about what's going on in the Horizon community at the moment. We've got some big news on the horizon along with a Krispy Kreme Forza collaboration which is pretty cool. We're going to talk about all that now. If you do enjoy this video guys and you like hearing Forza news consider subscribing to the channel we do stuff like this all the time. Let's get into it. So yes as I said there is a collaboration between Krispy Kreme and Forza going on this month. The Krispy Kreme posted a promotional video on Twitter. Here it is. Now I'm sure most of you may have recognised him, that is Lando Norris, the McLaren F1 driver, who seems to have a pack of loads of donuts in his hand that are obviously the new Forza branded donuts. And he seems to ring someone and presumably deliver them. And then a date pops up on the screen, the 27th of June, which is in a few weeks from now on a Monday, I believe that is. I think it's a Monday. Now, we'll talk a bit about what that date means in a minute. But as I said, the Krispy Kreme donuts come in packs of 12. And every pack of 12 that you buy, you will get a chance to win an Xbox Series S and a couple of other prizes as well, such as a guaranteed one month Xbox Game Pass Ultimate code for every box of 12 you buy, which is pretty cool. You can buy a box of 12 or you can buy two boxes of 12, so 24 donuts, for $24.90 from the Krispy Kreme website, which again will give you a chance to win an Xbox and a Game Pass Ultimate code. They're available now to be delivered from today up until the 3rd of July, so it's less than a month that this is going on for. I've personally bought two boxes of 12 because why not? Who doesn't like donuts? And you never know, maybe I'll win an Xbox. There's a few more details about the collaboration here about where you can find the codes and how it works and where you can buy them, how many prizes there are. There's a collaboration going on with Pringles as well at the moment where you can bring a Pringles branded Xbox, which is a bit bizarre if I'm honest. Now, unfortunately, this whole thing is UK only. So if you're outside of the UK, you're not going to be able to buy these Krispy Kreme donuts or have access to win the Xbox Series S or any of the codes or anything like that. It is UK only. I know most of my viewers are from the UK anyway, but still, if you're outside of it, bit of a shame. Now, over on the Krispy Between Twitter, there is actually another promotional video, which I'm gonna show you on screen now that sort of tells you the details on how to win, what the flavors are of the donuts, and just a bit more information about what's going on on with the basics. Here is the video in question. But the thing that's pretty cool is, as I said, the Krispy Kreme video that they did with Lando Norris has a date on it, the 27th of June. Now that is exactly one week before the collaboration ends on the 3rd of July. Now, I'm very curious about what that date means. I personally think maybe there is a possibility that if you order one of these 12 packs of donuts from their website, there's a possibility that Lando Norris himself will deliver it to your door. Because as you saw in the video, Lando got off, Lando rang someone with four packs of donuts in his hand, sort of maybe delivering it to the house. I don't know, that's a possibility, but you can get these donuts today. Um, so I don't know what the 26th of June means. We will find out in a couple of weeks, but it's certainly very interesting. Now, if you think into it properly, as I said, Lando Norris is an F1 driver, so he travels all around the world to do the F1 races. And the Silverstone GP, so the F1 race in the UK, is on the 3rd of July, which means that around that week, around the 27th of June, towards the 3rd of July, Lando will be in the UK, which further sums up the fact that he will be around to maybe deliver the donuts to someone, a lucky winner, maybe. I'm just guessing it's a certain possibility, but he will be in the UK around then. And another thing is if you live in the UK, you'll know that one of the main supermarkets is Tesco. Well, a few people on the Forza Reddit have spotted these Forza themed donuts in Tesco, just you know, sort of singular packs, not the big boxes which cost a lot of money, just singular donuts with a Forza Festival logo on it. Pretty cool. So, if, if I personally checked my Tesco, my local one, and they didn't have any, so if there's a relatively large Tesco near you in the UK, go and have a look, see if you can find any of these Forza donuts. Now, just a few days before the 27th of June, on the 23rd of June, that is when the next update for Horizon 5 comes out, which I believe is Series 10 or Series 9, I can't remember 
remember which one it is. Series 9, that comes out just a few days before this, so maybe in Series 9 we're going to get something you know, Krispy Kreme related, Lando Norris related, maybe a couple of car liveries or car designs, um, two challenges, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below your guesses about what this Lando Norris collaboration has to do with the 27th of June. What exactly is happening? Now the other big news about this week is on Sunday, which is just a few days from now on the 12th of June, it is finally the Xbox Games Showcase, which as I'm sure you're aware is the predicted possible announcement for the first expansion. Now there are a few rumours going around that the big news that we are getting that's Forza related, we are presuming we're going to get Forza news, we're probably going to, there's no guarantee, but we're probably going to. It is either going to be the Forza Horizon 5 first expansion or Forza Motorsport news for the upcoming Forza Motorsport instalment. Not Forza Motorsport 8, as that's not what it's called, it's just called Forza Motorsport. I will be very, very surprised if we don't get news on either that or the first expansion of Horizon 5 on Sunday, which is in just a few days. So big news is coming. What it's going to be exactly, we don't know just yet but it's just around the corner. There's also been an extended showcase announced as well for the 14th of June, which is the Tuesday, if I calculate that correctly. On Tuesday, Xbox and Bethesda will do an extended showcase. I'm presuming going into more detail about everything they announced. So if the expansion or motorsport gets shown on Sunday, we'll see even more related to it on the Tuesday. June the 14th. Now once again, nothing Forza related is guaranteed for these dates, but it makes sense and I will be extremely surprised if we don't hear something on one of the two subjects. Maybe even both would be nice. We know that Jurassic Park is one of the rumoured expansion themes for the first expansion. Jurassic Park comes out I believe in two days on the 10th of June, so all the dates are coming together and we're finally going to find out if it means anything or if anything's happening. We will find out. What we do know for sure is a lot of stuff Forza related is happening within the next month. We've got Series 9 being announced, we've got Series 9's live stream, we've got Series 9 release, we've got this Krispy Kreme collaboration date happening with Lando Norris, we've got a potential motorsport announcement or first expansion announcement, we've got a lot going on within the next few weeks so you can expect on this channel to hear everything you need to know as it happens live. That's everything that we have to talk about today. There's not been much going on in the Horizon community at the moment because, you know, everything's been quite flat, but it's all coming together and all starting to get quite lively again. So anyway, guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon 5 content, and I'll see you all later.